Stephanie Mullen, here to quickly show you how to use motion graphics from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Final Cut Pro X. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you are working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you'll be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump into Final Cut. Now we're going to be working with a title today. Um, that's what I'm going to add motion graphics to. And I created this title in the title maker here in Final Cut. Really simple. Just put your title in. Just does everything else for you. So I really like this. Now let's go ahead and add some of our motion graphic effects. First we need to import them. And to do that it's really simple. We're going to come up here. We're going to say right click, import. And you're going to have to find out wherever you've stored your uh, toolkit effects. So mine are right here. And I'm going to put these, and I'm going to create a new event, and I'm going to call this Motion Graphics Toolkit. And I'm going to say Import. Okay. And the first thing you'll see here is there's a PDF sheet that shows you a quick snapshot of all of the effects. This is really awesome, especially with the MoGraph stuff, because you can quickly find something, oh, I want that arrow, or I want that burst, and, and drag it to your timeline and be done. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and find one. I'm going to do, we have this really cool title, so I'm going to do something like maybe this burst. This is kind of nice. So all you do is you drag this from here down to your timeline, and it's in. That's all you do. So now all we have to do is work with the sizing, the scale, and the positioning. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the left, and then... We're going to move it up and then we're going to scale it down, not that far, maybe right there. And let's move it over a little more and up a little bit and maybe, there we go. So you can play with the scale and the rotation and positioning. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so it went off the, the screen a little bit here. So let's go ahead and make it a little smaller. There we go. And I'm going to move it back just a little bit to here. I'm going to rewind this and let's watch it. Push play. There we go. Love it. All right, like a little firework. So now what, we, what I want to do is I want to copy this and I want to put it other, where, other places in this little title. So what I'm going to do is hold down Option, drag this around. I'm going to drag it on top. And then I'm going to put my cursor there so I can see it. And then again, let's just move it around. Maybe we'll put one in this corner. Actually, let's go back and put it over here. I think back over here would be better. There we go. So now if we rewind this and I play it, and like two little fireworks. So let's go ahead and copy that again. And again, let's move it. Let's move it over here. And then let's just go ahead and copy another one and just move it up. Move it up and maybe over to the left or right a little bit. There we go. If I rewind this and push play. Yeah, it's like a little fireworks. Now what I'm gonna do is I want this to sort of happen a little bit sooner. So let's go ahead and bump it up there and let's try it again push play. I love it. It works. It's great. And that's very simple. That's all you do. So you just import your motion graphic elements, you drag it to your timeline, and then you can play with the position, the rotation, and scale if necessary. So pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and look at this over top of a background. So because right now we have it on a plain black background. So this is a background from our toolbox. This is from the Boca volume. This is actually Boca number 18. So here's the, the background. Okay, now let's go ahead and copy our title, drag it over, and push play. Okay, it looks nice just like that. All right, now let's go ahead and add our motion graphics. I'm just going to copy what I already have. I put that on top of here. I'm going to scroll this back, push play, and there we go. Instant motion graphics. I didn't have to animate anything. I just took it from my my bin up here and drag it to my timeline and I'm done. 
Now, if you want to change the color, it's really simple. Let's just click on one clip for now. And let's go over here to our generator for color. And we're going to go to color. And we're going to add a color correction to this clip, just like that. Then we're going to go up, so it's right here. This is where we're looking. We're going to go over here to our inspector, look at the color. And we're going to work with the global color because it's white. So you can see here, if I go up here, I can change it. So maybe I want like a blue color like that. That looks good. So let me rewind that and run it through. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So very easy. Change the color, reposition, and all that stuff is really simple. And the same thing goes if you wanted to put this on, a, on an actual solid color and you didn't want to use a background. It works exactly the same way. So here, just on a, on a solid layer, and I'm going to get rid of this for now. And I want to copy these again over like that and then rewind it and I'm going to push play. There you go. Instant motion graphics in your box. So easy in the Final Cut program. So simple, so nice. And that's all you do. So if we rewind these, rewind these again and push play, you just import them, bring your motion graphic down to your timeline, work with the, you know, the uh, scale, the positioning, and then you're done. If you're interested in any more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.